Solutions to Engineering Mechanics Textbook, 5th edition, S. Timoshenko, D. H. Young, J. V. Rao, Sukumar Pati. In this tutorial, we will solve the problems at 2.1, problem number 2.8. A smooth circular cylinder of weight P is lying in a rectangular groove is shown in the figure. The formulas or concepts required to solve the problem is if any system contains the string or cable or ropes etc. The force is along the axis and it is away from the support. Similarly, if the system contains any bars or struts or booms, the force is along the axis and the direction will be decided whether it is a tension or compression is based on its equilibrium condition. Similarly, if any body is supported with wall or floor or trough etc., there is a reaction force developed on the body and that reaction force is always perpendicular to the support and it is towards the body. Okay, So, with this concept, uh, let us go to the solution of our problem. Now, in the given problem, there is a cylinder of weight P. P is acting here. It is supported by a groove D C E. So it is supported at G, clearly we can see, and the cylinder is supported at H. Now our interest is to find the free body diagram of the cylinder. That means we need to find what are the various forces acting on the cylinder. Of course, the first force is P, that is the self-weight acting from point O, it is already indicated. Now, since the cylinder is supported at point G, at G, this support will introduce a reaction force which is perpendicular to DC and towards the cylinder, like this. This is the reaction at G. Similarly, the cylinder is supported at H. Hence, this fixed support will introduce a reaction at H perpendicular to C perpendicular to C and it is towards the cylinder that is R H. So, if you extend this R G, it must coincide with the force at O and if you extend this R H, it must intersect at point O because, because this is a concurrent system. That means, the cylinder is subjected to three different types of forces. One is P, acts vertically downwards. Another one is RG, perpendicular to DC. And the third one is RH, perpendicular to C. Let us draw this onto a separate XY axis. Let us consider this is my X axis and this is my Y axis and this is the center O. Now, what are the various forces? Let us transfer all these forces onto this XY plane. The first force is the self-weight P. Now, here the P is here and the magnitude is P. Next, transfer this RG onto this XY plane. What is the magnitude of this force? Arch. Similarly, 
third force is RH. Transfer this RH and to x, just draw a line parallel to this and to that x, y. What is the magnitude of this force? R. Sorry, it is R H. R H. We would also like to represent the angles made by all these three forces. Of course, P is vertical and we should represent angle made by RG and RH with either X and Y axis. Now, what is RG? RG is a reaction force which is perpendicular to DC. Given that DC makes an angle 45 degrees with the horizontal, DC makes an angle 45 degrees with the horizontal. Hence, its perpendicular, that is RG, makes the same angle 45 degrees with the vertical. Hence, this angle becomes 45 degrees. RG makes an angle 45 degrees with the vertical. Similarly, RH. What is RH? RH is a force which is perpendicular to C. Given that C makes an angle 15 degrees with the horizontal. That means the RH makes the same 15 degrees angle with the vertical. Hence, this is the various forces acting at a point where you can say the free body diagram of the cylinder. My dear friends and students, if you want the solution for any of the subject in the field of machine design, namely strength of materials, theory of machines, machine design, engineering mechanics, finite element method, mechanical vibrations, please give the reference in the comment section so that I will solve the problem, prepare a video and upload in my channel. Please subscribe and share my video.